That revival come, come, hey. come. Revival come, come, come. Oh, I need to tell you stories. I've been, I was in public service for 16 years. I have a few stories to tell you. My manager was visiting my, my area. And so when he came, the first thing he said, I hope you have been briefed. I said, briefed about what? Oh, your friends didn't tell you. I said, oh God, I don't understand. You. He said, he doesn't sleep alone. He sleeps with around two women, three women. I told him, oh God, you see this campus. I was the evangelist of this campus. I preached till before I got this job, I was the evangelist. If I even if I go there and I say I'm looking for girls to take, the people will think it's another Jesus trick. They won't believe. They won't believe. <laughs> so I was the an evangelist before you, you people employed me. <laughs> and I can't bring women for you. This thing is, is in my soul, it has entered. Do you know that the man insisted that I would never be promoted? So when I came in the morning, he, said, ah! he got some ladies around, though. got good ones. Meanwhile, I told him if he needs comfort, I'll bring a Bible for him. He felt it insulted. Promotion did come out first year, second year, third year, fourth year, even. You don't know that I was a scholar. You don't, so you can't imagine what I'm talking about. For four years. Until our chief executive came to visit my zone. Asked me some questions, I answered. Asked me other questions, I answered. Asked me the third set of questions, I said, see, this is, this, see, this thing you are saying, we meet it here now, on the field. Eh? He didn't talk anymore. I didn't know I made an impression. Went back to Abuja. Called that same guy because he's, called that same guy. Asked him, Bring that boy's fire so that I've not been promoted for four years. They promote this man, but did it four years. I'm promoting again. That man's signature was on two of my promotion letters. You know why? Because I, I was not in the land of Nord, I was in the Jehovah first. Now, the question is when he was signing my promotion letters, where was he looking like his whole life? too small to ask me to drive to the campus to bring I was the evangelist of that land you need to I was crazy you don't understand we have grown older now there are things we have stopped crazy man yes go and ask them those of us that were raised in Christian homes all this generation light light Bar will make sure he bends your conviction because it's paying you. His brother's name was Duba. He was the father of all sorts that handled the harp and the organ. This guy was the guy that created music for self entertainment. How many of you have uh, experienced? The music of the Holy Ghost. You woke up in the morning and there was a song inside of your spirit. That means that you, it's a sign of spiritual health. Because the Holy Ghost in your heart is a singer of the song of songs. When he brings his bride out of the swamp and the dust, he sings. But this guy, knowing that he is disconnected from the song of songs, has this, the developed entertainment, uh, music for self entertainment because it's, it's designed to keep you apart from God, to be comfortable with being apart from God. If we check all your phones here now, we will see Kenny Rogers. Hotel California. If you doubt me, we can run a test from 12 people. And you will see that they are victims of Jabbar. Welcome to the Hotel California. It's on top. You'll find it. You will find it. You will find it there. It means that your civilization has no walls. 
because it's not separate. You pick common things and you are ravishing yourself with common things. I can show you from across the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, these two civilizations, they never meet. I can start calling the names from Cain to Nimrod to Pharaoh. And it runs like that to the dragon in the book of Revelation. I can start calling the names from Seth to Enoch to Noah to Abraham and it runs like that to the city. It produces two lines. And Zila, she also bought to Bakin. To Bakin is an instructor in, in every artificial in brass and iron. He was the one that developed weapons for self-defense. When he lost, when they lost the presence of God that is the defense for man, they now develop what? Weapon. This is where, this is the source of Boko Haram. Weapon. This city is a great city. Because it, cons it, it, it consists of all forms of civilization designed to trap you and to ensure that you are taken apart from God. Oh, you don't see what is being built here. It is in the book of John that John now shows us that the name of that city is called the world. This is the beginning. It was Cain that pioneered the concept of the world. The world system. This is when the world was in its cradle. The world system. The world has its own fashions. It has, it has its own way of enjoyment. The hotel that I am now, if you want to pass from the lobby into the room, you close your eyes. And speak in tongues. Just be high. Be very high. Aiko Sama. Aiko Seka. The world has its own attractions. If your eyes are not closed, you will see a lady without an underwear with tight stuff. Because that is the way of the world. And Jesus did not pray for us to be removed from the world. So segregation is not holiness. May the Lord give you understanding. The world system has a name for every guy. The Bible says that John came neither eating nor drinking. The world system called him a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking and then they said, Oh, behold, a wine Bible, a friend of the public. The world will give you a name before it's too long. And if you don't have a name, you are not authentic. Cain will give you a name. A Jew. A slack man guy that doesn't understand trends. A guy, a pastor flew in to meet me in Lagos and told me that I was not a wise man. That I'm not a man of this time. And showed me how I can sell my messages so that we we'll make money through a craft. See, people are people like what you preach. Me, I'm just at the business end. I, I kept quiet. You know when he was speaking, you know what came to me? Turn these stones into bread. Don't do ministry and use the principles of the world. You will raise a high place, a halot. You raise a halot. To back in, you develop weapons of mass destruction. the building blocks of the city. By the time I move you to Genesis 5, I don't have the time. Then Genesis 6. By Genesis 6, you will see that this civilization had multiplied. Meanwhile, in Genesis chapter 4, verse 25, you will see the other group that refused to depart from the presence of God. They were still at the edge of Eden. Hoping that one day God will break through the lattice and bring redemption to 
Genesis chapter, don't worry, just rush down. Genesis chapter 4 verse 25. 25. So this is Acts 1, scene 2. In Genesis 4, 25, what God does is that he takes the cameraman back to Adam because those ones refused to leave. It was a small civilization. That revival come, come, hey. come. Revival come, come, come. Revival come.